Hey everyone, it's Brett Hornby here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I figure in this video, I'll just share a couple, uh, you know, favorite interesting websites that I have found that covers if you want to find information on various sports logos and jerseys, and also some places that I have found, you know, some of the graphics that I've used in the past when sharing on this platform. And there was one website that I found that is going to make it a lot easier for me to prepare for doing my what I plan to do NHL jersey rankings, both uh, all the categories. So, uh, so as I say, if you want to follow along with this Calgary Sports Fans journey, just uh, make sure you hit like, subscribe, as I mostly do talk Calgary sports on my YouTube channel. And as a sports fan, these are very interesting websites that I found that. Uh, you might be interested in as well, and I'll have all the links in the description below. You know, where you can find information, basically, on jerseys and logos. And, uh, I would say some leagues, I would say, has been hit or miss. I think, ultimately, the hockey ones are the best ones. But, uh, this is what, uh, I've tripped upon when I'm looking at logo sites or jersey sites over the years. If you want a master site for all logos... Like, you could think of any logos about any sport. This one is called sportslogos.net. I think it used to be called Chris Kramer's website, and I'm not too sure if it's still if he's still associated with it. But that website is kind of the master if you want to look for logos. And there's, like, various, various leagues. You know, hockey, baseball, football, even soccer, and even special occasion logos. That's definitely the master website to go to. If you want to find any sports logos. So now when it comes to the National Hockey League. There's a few websites that uh, are always easy to look for information on jerseys. You know what team wore when. Even the kind of socks or uh, jerseys or shorts they've worn. Well there's the core say there's the NHLuniforms.com. I know it looks like still like a early late 1990s website. But if you're all looking for just getting information on uh current teams as well as defunct teams and what jerseys that they wore and you know even if there is a chain that you know barely changed they could say a collar or you know angle of the sock you know they would uh you know break that down for you as well so there's angelsuniforms.com and then another hockey website that i found interesting especially when it gives you insight on potentially jerseys that are going to change or a team that's about to release a jersey i know that uh in this offseason, you have a lot of teams that have been talking about uh, either going back to full retro, let's say the Calgary Flames, for example, or eventually the Ottawa Senators, which they're going full retro as well. And then, of course, you know, all the leaks and uh, speculation of the reverse retro jerseys series that eventually came out. There's a website called aesthetics.com, and that's another interesting website where you can kind of get, you know, kind of a gossip or insight on uh, jerseys that could be coming or will be coming, so that's another website. Then I found this website that will make it a lot easier for me to gather all my graphics just to be consistent on uh, when I plan on, I still plan on doing it at least in the next you know week, doing my jersey rankings. And this was a one-stop shop. If you go to puckmarks.net, in this one, what I liked about this website is it was able to find all the teams in one spot, all their homes, all their ways, the reverse retros, and alternates. So that would make it a lot easier for me to grab all the jerseys from every team that they're wearing for this upcoming season. And obviously I can use that to rank my jerseys because I do plan to do ranking all 31 homes, ways, reverse retros, and I might as well do the alternates now. So that's a all one-stop shop where you can look at you know the team's jerseys it shows the front, the back, and the numbers, and they just pick a player on the team. So that's another great website. It looks fairly new. So that's, uh, you know, with all the websites. And all the NHL uniforms is the one that I've known for, like, almost 20 years. But uh, those are a couple of good hockey websites to go to if you want to find information on jerseys. I know the NHL uniforms breaks more down into socks and pants. But for the puck marks, uh, like, it just shows the jersey itself. And it's just a one-stop shop because I was trying to figure out how I'm going to grab every jersey to, uh, you know, make 
get my graphics to show for the video. And then it's like, well, then I don't want to list like, you know, several sources and all be inconsistent. So that's his for NHL. And actually there's a World Hockey Association website. I think the same person that's behind the NHL uniforms. There's a WHL uniforms website, the World Hockey Association. So uh, you can go there as well to look at what teams were during the World Hockey Association from 1972 to 1979. So that pretty much covers all the hockey. Now when it comes to uh, the other major leagues, well the only best one that I could find for the National Basketball Association, the NBA, and it does cover all the way back to the you know beginning of the league, and I think you're using some American Basketball Association jerseys before those teams got merged in. There's a website called jerseymuseum.org. So that one you can take a look at uh, all the NBA teams that uh, currently have. I'm not too sure if there's any uh, defunct teams that I found on there. But at least you can get the current teams. Maybe if you look under the tab, let's say, for example, Memphis, the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, what they have the Vancouver Grizzlies in there. I looked at a few teams that uh, are current right now. And they have jerseys from their first year till now. So, uh... That is that website. And now the National Football League. This one goes really deep. For the NFL, there was a website called Gridiron, Grid, GridironUniforms.com. There's a hyphen between uh, Gridiron and Uniforms. This website really goes deep. where it, it shows all the teams all the way from the past. But if you go onto that link, right, the first thing that you see is it shows, like it goes really deep on the scores of the game. Uh, like this past week, it shows what the field looked like, what uniforms both teams wore. Like it really goes deep. If you're a National Football League fan and you want to be really hardcore and see what teams wore in that particular game, you know what patches they wore. So I was impressed by that one. So that's probably much like the best place to go for the National Football League. Now, when it comes to Major League Baseball, there was only two websites that I found. I like the UniformLineup.com. But the only disadvantage I have with that website is it only goes back to 1912. So if you go all the way back to 1912 up till now, that website shows all the teams what they were then. However, I was able to find MLBCollectors.com. I mean, I guess when you're going back over 100 years for some teams, it does break down like areas and what teams looked like and got pictures of what they were. Let's say, for example, I looked at... Uh, the Chicago Cubs, because we know that's one team that's resisted for over 100 years. It does, you know, break down what they wore, so that's some baseball history. Now for the last website that I found when it comes to soccer. This is a master website called the coloresoffootball.com. So you have colors.of-football.com. And I'll have all the links in the description below. That one you have to like navigate through various tabs because in that website that I found for soccer it has like all the national teams but then you have to go to that country to go to those particular leagues let's say England for if you want to go to the Premier League or Canada if you want to see MLS or the Premier League and that's where you can go to find you know jersey histories of any particular teams in soccer so these are all my various favorite websites they can go to sports websites if you're a sports fan like me to find information on logos or jerseys on any particular uh, teams. And uh, also going back to that puck marks for hockey, I did see tabs for the ECHL and the American Hockey League. I didn't find any good website, let's say for the Western Hockey League, you know, for, let's say for the Calgary Hitman. But I know, I mean, the sports logos, you could find logos from the past for basically any sports team out there, which... Shows you how deep some of these sources are. And then I couldn't find any good website for, you know, since I talked about the Calgary teams and the Calgary Roughnecks, I didn't find any uh, good uh, websites for uh, NLL, NL lacrosse about jerseys. But I think when it comes to uh, jerseys in general, I always, I always think the hockey one, that's the one that I find that has the best and they put more, more polarizing. I mean, you can always debate the same about the NBA and the NFL, like, you know, combination of socks or pants or whatever. And I know the NBA has their, like, Earn It series and then they have their City series as well. Which is kind of like, you know, what the NHL eventually caught on with the Earth's Retro. I mean, there's definitely variations of series. And I know that uh, going to Major League Baseball, they always have to throw in their 
throwbacks, you know, depending, you know, just to go back to a certain era or a certain time when the team rebranded has different colors back then. So that's, uh, you know, various, various websites that I like to go to for uh, any sports. So uh, that's, uh, you know, information out there for any sports fans out there. So as I say, if you want to follow along this Calgary sports fans journey, on the Flames Hip and Roughnecks and Stampeders, uh, I mostly do talk Calgary sports on my YouTube channel, but I also do personal vlogs, attempt to comedy, and I also do share my experience with them on the road or a sporting event. So if that all sounds like it'd be interesting to watch, to follow along with this Calgary Sports fans journey, you know what you need to do, just uh, make sure you like, subscribe. I also have my other social media links down in the description below. I guess before I close out, there was another thing I just thought of right now, talking about NLL lacrosse and the Calgary Roughnecks. Apparently there's a word that, uh, you know, you couldn't see any history of jerseys, good to sites that I found for NLL jerseys from the past. Let's say the Calgary Roughnecks, so apparently there was word on the internet that the Calgary Roughnecks are going to be changing their jerseys for the upcoming season, whenever that's going to be. So that could be interesting as well. And I guess another clue that uh, if you're a sports fan and you're thinking, why suddenly this jersey that's current is now suddenly on sale? That's probably a clue that they're probably going to want to get rid of that so they can put new stock in for the uh, new jerseys that eventually come out. And, you know, some of the websites that I've shared kind of gives you hints on that coming out. I know out on... Um, the internet, I mean, there's a lot of unofficial websites where people give concepts. I know that I've seen tons of concepts of, uh, you know, people who are saying, well, this is what the shell Kraken should wear. But, uh, you know, that's, you know, a lot of fan-made sites go. But these ones are a lot more uh, official and it's been around for years that I go to for getting graphics. So, as I say, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.